Good morning, everybody. This is Donald Blondo, Hall of Fame veteran, sports cards, and collectibles. Coming to you live from Arlington, Washington. We've got two, three thumbs up so far in the video. Just starting out. Thanks for popping into this another fun-filled Wednesday live stream. We're going to be doing three different parts here. Three different parts today. Right? We'll be doing the 1980 Tops Baseball Superstars photo cards. So we'll have fun with that first. It's a little 60 card set. Oversized. There are 5 by 7 cards. I'll explain that in just a minute here. And then we will get into opening up this 2021 opening day product. 2021 opening day. Looking for autograph and or relic cards. We'll see what we can find. Chuck the Pre's in the house first in the live chat. How you doing there, Chuck? Thanks for popping in today with me. Jay Thompson. Boom! He says, holy... <clears throat> Be nice in the chat there, Jay. <laughs> holy dump. I'm here on time. You made it here on time. First in the live chat and last in the free entries. So this makes it a lot easier for me today, that's for sure. So let me just uh, get in here and uh, get ready to get you in. Socializing with Sonya's here, the bipster of all things Wax Pack. Just a minute late, only a minute late. Let me get Chuck and Jay Thompson in for the free entries today. Let me get Chuck and Jay Thompson in with the free entries. We got four people viewing and a few thumbs up. Let me get this caught up here. Appreciate everybody being here this morning. Hopefully you are having a good start to your Wednesday. I've got Chuck's entry in here. And now let's get uh, Jay Thompson in here. They were the first two in the live chat this morning. Let me get you in here, Jay. All right, let me save these names here. Then I will go over what we're going to do today in today's live stream. So now we have 338 entries into the giveaway for the month of April. 338 in the giveaway. So let's see. What's up, Jay? Good afternoon, everyone. Socializing with Sonia is waving in the chat. Boom, boom, hey Sonia, boom. <laughs> Bipster's like boom, boom, boom. <laughs> hey Bipster, hey Chuck, good, good job, Jay. Jay Thompson, so what's new? So frustrating. I tried to get in your stream and your stream ends. <laughs> yeah, I know, I saw that shortly after you. It must be when Bipster shows up here, it just bloop. The stream goes. I don't show any any breaks in it, but we do have four people watching. We've got nine thumbs up. We didn't even get into the starting the, start the stream yet. We got one thumbs up away from getting ready to rock and roll here today with nine thumbs up. Guess I'm going to pop in 10 minutes in stream from now on. 10 minutes into the stream, huh? <laughs> No, Bipster, you you usually pop in here first in the live stream. Congratulations to the Bipster of all things wax. He located Bigfoot. Yes, he did. Hopefully you guys watched his movie, the, his, his video he recorded the other day. Yes, he did. He located Bigfoot for sure. <laughs> Sorry, I gotta wet my whistle a little bit. You say you just started. Yeah, I know, but I was in the recording studios before I before I came live here. There you go, Bipster of all things wax pack. Uh 
Uh, Jay Thompson said he's breaking your stream. Bipter's breaking my stream. No. <laughs> but we're going to have fun today. We're going to go over this 1980 uh, baseball superstars photo cards. It says new, collect all 60. I'll just give you a side note on the box here. When these were available in the stores, when they sold them, there was 48 in a box, and they were only 15 cents each. They're a little bit more than 15 cents each these days because they are what? Let's see, this is 2021. They're 40 years old, 41 years old. Okay. So, um, but yeah, there there is a complete set. I do have the complete set in here. I don't know if they did these come wrapped, Bibby, and like like a like a baseball card wrapper. If so, it must have been pretty thin because. I was able to fit all 60 cards in this box, which is kind of cool. So we've got that first, and then after we go through this 60 card set, we will get into opening this box of opening day here. See on here it has 36 packs per box, 7 cards per pack. And we'll see, we might just do it in two different openings. We'll see how it goes. And then to end it off, of course, we'll be doing the Bipster box. Looking for those stars and Hall of Famers. Looking for those stars and Hall of Famers. Okay? So that's what our content is going to uh, not, not, not wrapped, just loose. Not wrapped, just loose. Oh wow, so you could go through and actually pick out what, what, what card you might want to buy for 15 cents back in the day. That is pretty cool. So you, you, you would think though, if they could have had the whole box in, the whole set of uh, 60 in a box. Since they only put 48 in a box, they must have had something else in the box. Because 60 of these cards fit in here quite well. I guess it was just easier putting it in a 48 count box. That way, uh... Oh, you want to do four packs of babies today? Sure, we can probably do four packs today. We'll we'll see. Uh, maybe I'll do half the box instead of a whole box of the opening day. We'll we'll see what how things roll along here today. But as per Bipster request, he wants me to do four babies today. Four packs of babies. Okay, that'll give you four chances to try and get an entry, right? Instead of the normal three. All right, we will start our stream, our content at hand, right at uh, ten ten, as usual. <clears throat> All right. So other than that, you probably hear the dogs in the background. You'll hear airplanes in the background. You will hear all kinds of good stuff. Okay. So, other than that, we're going to have a fun day today, I think. See, I can scooch this over a little bit more so you can see that. Because once we get ready to start, I'll move this out of the way over to the side of my break table here or something. Matter of fact, we're at the, the new babies coming soon. Oh, no problem. No problem. I'm going to set this right off to the side here so you know where it's at. As we get ready to do the opening day. And I'll probably empty the box out and then slide it over here as we put the cards back into the box as I go through each one. It should not take too long to go through this box just showing you the six, the 60 cards that are in here. So it looks like if I put right on the edge there, we can put the cards stack right here. I'm trying to remember how I had this laid out. Okay, yeah. Did you see, yeah, you saw that hot box on Gourmet Breaks that I was on Saturday? I broke down and bought a, a box of Heritage. I was so anxious to get that because the Heritage for this year is the 1982 top set which I like very very much at least you won't hear Bigfoot yearly yearling 
yearling. Gourmet breaks was awesome. <laughs> yeah, it was. Oh man, I was just I couldn't believe it when he when he opened up the first pack and he said, "Mr. Blondell, I think you've got a hot box here. I think we're going to have a blue parallel in each pack that he opened." Uh so I think I've got, I think there's 8, 16, 20, I think there's 24 packs in a box, if I remember right. So that means I've got 24 blue parallels. Of course, i got the Kyle Lewis blue par parallel. Is that the link for Gourmet Breaks? There you go. Thanks, Bipster. Appreciate you putting that in there for me. That is a blessing. So we do have 1010. Yeah, case cards. It's a 1972 design. Yes, it is. So let's go ahead and dump this set out here. And we will commence to go in through this. In. And then as I finish the cards, I'll put them back in the box. So that way they'll be displayed. These are five by seven cards. So these are oversized cards. Kind of like sometimes you can get in the box topper. Sometimes they're four by sixes. Or I don't think they do the five by sevens that much. Because look, you look at the size here. It definitely couldn't be a, a box topper in here. Maybe a four by six. But that's probably about it. Okay, so without further ado, we will go through this set one card at a time. So the style they have on these is just a white border. Sometimes you'll have them centered, slightly off-centered, up, horse, top and bottom, left and right. But then they do have uh, blue signatures on here, already pre-printed on the cards. Okay, uh, you've never seen these case cards? That's cool. Yep, this is a 1980 Topps product. So the first one, of course, we got up the bat here is Willie Stargell. And I'll just kind of show you the back. You'll see the backs when they're in the box here. I might adjust it so you can see the back of the card. But we'll turn this over here, and you can see on the back they do list Willie Stargell, Pittsburgh Pirates, and what position they played, first base, with the vintage top logo for the fun of it. And then on the bottom here you can see you have card number one of 60 in this 60 card set. Okay. Uh, is Jason Thompson in this set? Jason Thompson. I I don't know for sure. Is he? Is he related to you? Pops? <laughs> Jay Thompson is your dad, Jason Thompson. All right, interesting facts we learn all the time. But then it does on the bottom show here, 1980 Topps Chewing Gum Incorporated, Drury, Pennsylvania, printed in the USA. Okay, there's a link for Bipster's channel there. You guys want to go and check that out, feel free to. Do me a refresh here on the chat so I know where I'm caught up. All right, so let me put number one in the box here and then next up to that we've got Mike Schmidt from the Philadelphia Phillies I think they used either black or blue for the the color it just depends not related just curious okay no problem Jay you said Jay Thompson pops tops mops I don't know but Mike Schmidt with the Philadelphia Phillies, I remember growing up and watching him. He's a pitcher for the Philadelphia Phillies, as we'll see on the back here. Mike Schmidt, Philadelphia Phillies. Sorry. All right. I should have turned that over before I put it in the box. I'll do that next round. Card number two of 60. Next, we've got Johnny Bench. Johnny Bench with the Cincinnati Reds. Got Johnny Bench here, Cincinnati Reds catcher, card number 30 of 60. 
Jason Thompson is my is my son's name too. Awesome. Then next we have up to bat here is Jay Palmer or, or Jim Palmer, not Jay, Jim Palmer. Sorry, got Jay curious here. Jim Palmer with the Baltimore Orioles was a pitcher, card number four of sixty. Mike Schmidt played third base, not a pitcher. Oh, that's right. Why did I say? Why was I thinking that, Mike? I was thinking of yeah, third base for Mike Schmidt. I'm trying to remember now who was who was the big pitcher in the Phillies back in the '80s. Oh, it'll come to me. It'll come to me. Jim Palmer, Baltimore Orioles pitcher, card number four of sixty. Then we've got Jim Rice. Yeah, I think there is a lot of Hall of Famers in this one. Uh, I can't remember the exact number. Let me do a check really quick here. Let me see if I can do that really quick here. Bring it up. Uh, oops. This one here. Yep, 60 cards set, and it shows. Yeah, 17 out of the 60. You got Willie Stargell, Mike Schmidt, Johnny Bench, Jim Palmer, Jim Rice, Reggie Jackson, Rod Carew, George Brett, Tom Seaver, Dave Winfield, Nolan Ryan, Carl Yastrzemski, Eddie Murray, Bruce Souter. Ted Simmons, Phil Necro, and Gary Carter are our Hall of Famers in this set. Just in case you're wondering, but this is Jim Rice of the Boston Red Sox. An outfielder, card number 5 of 60. Next we have up to bat here is Reggie Jackson with the New York Yankees. Outfielder, number 6 out of 60. What about the no no Schmidt through against the Mariners? <laughs> oh boy. Thanks, Robert. No, now they're not going to let me live that one down. Ron Guidry with the New York Mets. Or Yankees, not Mets. That's the pinstripe uniform. Uh, card number is a pitcher also. Number 7 out of 60. Next we have up as Lee Mazzilli. Lee Mazzilli with the New York Mets. First baseman. Don't remember Ted Simmons making the haul. Simmons, 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 Simmons. Yeah, uh, no, Al Simmons. Did, did they have it listed on the trading card database that way? I've been finding so many errors on the trading card database. Yeah, Ted Simmons, they have listed. That must that's gotta be another error. He's probably who knows, Ted Simmons is probably on is probably a card St. Louis Cardinals Hall of Famer. But yeah. Al Simmons, but not Ted Simmons. See that's where the trading card database isn't 100% accurate, but I hope, hopefully they do have, uh, if I had all the time in the world, I'd go in and tell them, Ted Simmons is not in the National Baseball Hall of Fame. That's what it should be listed as the, why ain't Baylor in the hall, more deserving than Ted Simmons. Yeah, no, it's not Ted Simmons. Ted Simmons is not in the Base, National Baseball Hall of Fame. So that is a typo on the trading card databases. And 
So let me get back into the stream. Lee Mazzelli, New York Mets, first baseman, card number eight. Next we've got here is Don Baylor with the California Angels. Don Baylor with the California Angels, outfielder, card number nine of 60. Ted Simmons is a Hall of Famer. Well, the only Ted Simmons that is on the list is Alois, uh, Aloysius H., commonly known as Al Simmons. So is Al and Ted the same Simmons? Ted is a National Hall of Famer. Well, then my 2019... Oh, wait, no, yeah, duh, I forgot. Ted Simmons did make it into the Hall of Fame. He's my right-in. He was last year. He's a brand-new Hall of Famer this, this last round. <laughs> oh, my word. You guys... I'm looking really bad today. I should have had a I should have had an uh, energy bar before I came in to do my show today. I need some sugar. You guys want to send me some sugar? I need something sweet to boost my energy. <laughs> I should go down and get a piece of chocolate while you guys stare at at Fred Lynn for a while. I promise Ted is in there. No, sir. That's right. They're, they're doing the, sem the ceremony this summer. Sure wish I could go to that. <laughs> that would be fun. One of these years, I'm going to make it to Cooperstown. Okay, but Fred Lynn with the Boston Red Sox. Outfielder, card number 10 of 60. Next up, we've got Ken Singleton. Ken Singleton with the Baltimore Orioles. Outfielder, card number 11. Kevin's Models and More. Good morning there, Kevin. How you doing, sir? Next we have up to bat here, Rod Carew. Rod Carew with the California Angels. First baseman, card number 12 of 60. Next we have Steve Garvey with the Dodgers. Steve Garvey with the Dodgers. First baseman. Card number 13. Cards in my car with our Posada. How we doing? All right. Getting people to show up. We got 11 thumbs up before we get into our main event content here. George Brett with the Kansas City Royals. Third baseman. Card number 14 of 60. Next up the bat, we've got Tom Seaver. Of the Cincinnati Reds. I need a Rod Carew auto. <laughs> that would be that would be a nice nice autograph to get for sure. Tom Seaver, pitcher for the Cincinnati Reds, card number 15. Next we've got Dave Kingman with the Chicago Cubs. Outfielder, card number 16. Next we've got Dave Parker. With the Pittsburgh Pirates. Outfielder for the Pirates. Card number 17. Next we've got Dave Winfield. This is the old Tops logo on the back. It's, smi it's the smiling logo. Yep. <laughs> Steve Garvey retired just before salaries exploded. Proly Probably could have used the extra pay to cover all those child support payments. <laughs> On my way to the office this morning, I found one of the new Fairfield boxes at Walgreens. Should be interesting. Kong. Good morning, Jay Thompson. There we go. Dave Winfield again with the San Diego Padres. Card number 18. Next we've got Pete Rose. Pete Rose with the Philadelphia Phillies back in the day. And he played first base for the Phillies. Card number 19 of 60. Next up to bat, we've got here, uh, is that Nolan Ryan? 
Nolan Ryan with the Houston Astros. Pitcher, card number 20 of 60. Next we've got here, Craig Nettles with the New York Yankees. Third base, card number 21. Next we've got Carl, Carl Yastrzemski, Boston Red Sox, first base, card number 22. I smell chocolate. No, not yet. I'm just starting to wake up. I should have had the second cup of coffee. I only had one cup of coffee this morning. I knew I should have drank two. Pete Rose is in the WWE Hall of Fame. <laughs> <laughs> Did he go into wrestling for a little spell to make his name his his name there? Tommy John with the New York Yankees. Pitcher. Card number twenty-three. We got next George Foster with the Cincinnati Reds. Outfielder, card number twenty-four. Next we got James Rodney Richard, J.R. Richard, for the Houston Astros. Pitcher, card number 25 out of 60. I've got that exact Winfield card over my break table. Jay, he started with the Padres in 1974 as his rookie card. Uh, anybody else remember when Nettles got caught stealing? Had a bat full of Super Balls. Bat broke. Super Balls bounced everywhere. <laughs> My word. How do you get a bat stuffed with Super Balls? Guess to help put some bounce in, in the ball when you hit it? <laughs> Don't remember here. I'll have to check that one now. <laughs> I don't know on second. I don't know on second, third base. Huh? Keith Hernandez with the St. Louis Cardinals. First baseman, card number 26. Uh, Bob Horner with the Atlanta Braves. Third baseman, card number 27. Next up to bat, we've got Eddie Murray with the Baltimore Orioles. Card number 28 out of 60. First baseman. Next we got uh, Detroit Tigers. Steve Kemp. Could, couldn't make out the signature there on the front. Uh, Steve Kemp. Outfielder for the Detroit Tigers. Card number 29. Next we've got uh, who's that? Oh, Gorman Thomas. Gorman Thomas with the Milwaukee Brewers. Card number 30, halfway through the set. Oh, I know he played for the Padres, just have no cards of him as a Padre. Abbott and Costello, who's on first skit? Oh, yeah, I know. I knew what you were talking about there. Because I said first baseman, you said. I don't know who's on second, and I don't care who's on third. Is that how it goes? I can't remember for sure. Sixto, Sixto Lescano. Sixto Lescano with Storm and Gorman. There we go. Uh, with the Milwaukee Brewers. Outfielder, card number 31. Next we got Bruce Suter. Chicago Cubs. Pitcher. Card number 32. Next we got Milwaukee Brewers. Cecil Cooper. First base. Card number 33. Next we got Larry Boa. Shortstop for the Philadelphia Phillies. Card number 34 of 60. See, I remember where Boa was. Al Oliver with the Texas Rangers. Outfielder for card number 35 out of 60. Uh, Ted Simmons, St. Louis Cardinals, catcher. 36 out of 60. 
Then we got Gary Templeton with the St. Louis Cardinals. Shortstop, card number 37 out of 60. Then we've got Jerry Kuz, is it Jerry Kuzman? Yep, Jerry Kuzman, Minnesota Twins pitcher, 38 out of 60. Next we've got da da Danell, Darnell, Daryl Porter. Pretty close to reading what his autograph said. Darnell Porter, Kansas City Royals, catcher. Card number 39 of 60. Uh, Ron Sandberg, Minnesota Twins. Nope, not Sandberg. Smalley, Ron, Ron, Roy, Ron, and it wasn't Ron either. It was Roy Smalley, Minnesota Twins shortstop, 40 of 60. Uh, is that Gary Swan with the Mets? Craig Swan. Try to read their, their cursive. He used to be really good at that stuff. With the New York Mets, Craig Swan, pitcher, card number 41 out of 60. I'm getting like every fifth frame and stream. It's like the card just appears. <laughs> uh, Jason Thompson with the Detroit Tigers, first base. Card number 42. Then we've got Andre Thornton with the Cleveland Indians. First baseman, card number 43. All right, next we've got uh, Cleveland Indians, Rick Manning, outfielder. Rick Manning, card number 44. Then we got uh, Kent Tecove, oh, his full, full, full first name must be Kenton Tecove. Goes by Kent Tecove. Jerry Kuzman's rookie is worth a lot of money. I need that card. Oh, really? Was that... Which one? Jerry Kuzman, huh? Jerry Kuzman? Is this his rookie year for Kuzman? Jerry Kuzman, huh? Is this his rookie year? Jerry Kuzman? Interesting. Well, sorry it's in the set. I'm not busting up the set. <laughs> Just completed the set, so that's why I'm previewing it. Uh, Kent Tickle. Tukulve, Pittsburgh Pirates pitcher, card number 45. And don't listen to Bipster. The first thing that goes with Parkinson's is a sense of smell. <laughs> uh, you got to keep your eyes open there, Bipster. And then you won't miss the frames. <laughs> uh, Phil, <laughs> Phil Necro. Here's the guy with all the hair. Phil Necro with the Atlanta Braves. Pitcher. Card number 46 out of 60. Next we've got Buddy Bell with the Texas Rangers. Third baseman. Buddy Bell. Card number 47. Next we've got uh, Rudy, Rudy Jones with the San Diego Padres. Pitcher. Card number 48. Next we got here, uh, Torian Downing. Oh, Brian Downing. That sure don't. Oh yeah, I guess it is a B. It's just not closed on the bottom. Brian Downing, California Angels catcher, card number forty-nine. Next we've got is that Ramon Ortiz with the Kansas City Royals? Nope, Amos or Otis. Amos Otis. Boy, looks what an S. It looks like or. Ortiz, Ortiz maybe. Amos Otis with the Kansas City Royals outfielder, card number 50 of 60. There you go, at least he wrote this one clear. Rick Bossetti with the Toronto Blue Jays outfielder, card number 51 out of 60. 
A few more cards to go. Gary Carter, Hall of Famer, with the Montreal Expos. Catcher. Next, we got Larry Parrish with the Montreal Exa Expos. Third baseman, card number 53 out of 60. Then we got Jack Clark with the Pittsburgh Pirates. Outfielder. Oh no, San Francisco Giants. Why did I say the Pittsburgh Pirates? San Francisco Giants outfielder. Card number 54 of 60. Bruce Bochy with the Seattle Mariners. Card num first baseman for card number 55 out of 60. Next we have uh, Houston Astros, Cesar Cedeno. Card number 55 out of 60, first baseman. Next we've got, did he sign this thing? I wonder if they're worth more money if they don't have a, an auto on them. This is the one they should have used the blue ink on. Oh, there it is. I was like, why didn't they put it on his shirt? It's up here. Chester Lemon. Chet Lemon. Let's see. He used, he used his nickname, Chet Lemon, instead of Chester Lemon. Chicago White Sox. Card number outfielder, 57 of 60. Uh, De uh, Dave... Revering, Oakland A's first baseman, Dave Revering, card number 58 out of 60. And Vita Blue, isn't it Vita Blue? Vita Blue, San Francisco Giants, pitcher, card number 59 of 60. And the last card in the set is Dave Lopes, Davey Lopes with the Dodgers. Second baseman, card number 60 out of 60. Okay. Get this box reclosed here. There we go. So there you have it, the 1980 top baseball superstars photo cards cut new collect all 60 and I have all 60 of them here's your information on the back if you want that if you want to uh, try and look that up you can take a screenshot or something uh, and find out how you can get one of these sets gonna tell neighbor five bucks next time I return them careful you don't get rocked by Bigfoot baby Ida pitched my in my hometown for a couple of years as a minor leaguer. Okay, let me take a stretch real quick here. Uh, for my one foot falls asleep. Put this back on my table back here. My display area for my oversized cards. Well, actually, you know what? I'm going to do a bonus here real quick. I'll show you some of my other bonus cards that I do have. Why not? Since we're in the mode for this, I might as well go through the rest of my oversized cards. I do have some in a binder, but these are my big ones. This is a, uh, a 2020 Tops uh, Stadium Club from last year. Roberto Alomar. That's a box topper. Then I've got these two Ken Griffey Juniors. Of course, one was given to me by uh, Paul Curry in Gourmet Breaks, the one on top here. Pretty sure that's the one on top, right? Yep, that's the 19, 1937 one. That one is a, I, I consider it a memorial to my dad. And then I do have a second one now. I was able to pick up one on eBay for a decent price. I was like, that is cool. It might be used for something down the road here. But this one is has a certificate of authenticity on the back. And I'm trying to remember. This is a, a higher number. These are out of 5,000. 
So I know there's at least 4,998 floating around in the world. Because I've got two of them, of my Ken Griffey Jr. Then I've got some extra uh, of these Hall of Famer cards. Willie Stargell, Mike Schmidt, the third baseman, uh, Johnny Bench, Jim Palmer, Jim Rice, Reggie Jackson, George Brett, and Tom Seaver. Then I've got this Ken Griffey Jr. Oh, wait. No, that's right. I moved them all together. I used to have these set up different in the back. This is a Ken Griffey Jr. Decades Best box topper from the Seattle Mariners. And this one does have a serial number down here. This is 6 of 10 on the bottom of this one. Big Ray's in the house. Big Ray here. Hi, guys. A little late today. That second shot yesterday gave me a little flu-like symptoms, so slept in really late today. Feeling much better now, though. Hope you are doing, we are doing well there, Big Ray. Thanks for popping in here. And then this box topper is also from 2020 Tops. All right. And this is a, another short print. This is 11 of 49 on this Ken Griffey Jr. And then my my prize possession that I got, I actually this was pulled for me also on a Top Stadium Club uh, Gourmet Breaks last year in 2020. And this is an, a, a hand autographed, hand serialized, three of ten Aristides Aquino. All right. And then I've got a Pete Alonzo. And a Clayton Kershaw Tops Gallery box toppers. So the Pete Alonzo, which is a sweet looking gallery card. And then I just have these in the same case and the Clayton Kershaw. Okay, and this here is just a for another box topper when I get one. I think I've got one more coming in from Gourmet Bricks that will probably go in one of these sleeves here. So that is the, my other box topper type oversized cards type type slant stuff. But now without further ado, we are going to get into opening up Tops Opening Day. An apple for the teacher since I'm late today. <laughs> Thank you there, Big Ray. That's a $5 super chat from Big Ray's Ball Cards and Auctions. Thank you there, Big Ray. Appreciate that very much. You know what? I'm not going to even hide this. Let me set this because I can't do my other computer for the super chats. But thank you there, Big Ray. Let me get you in my wheel of names here. Get your five entries in here into the wheel of names. Appreciate that. Give you five more entries into the wheel of names. There we go. Big Ray's ball cards and auctions. That gets us up to 343 entries. We're getting almost halfway to tier number four for four prizes. Tier number four for four prizes. Okay, so let me go back in the stream. Uh, I smell popcorn. Who's eating it? <laughs> Hello, Posada. Uh, Donald, I see a theme in your collection. Are you a Ken Griffey Jr. fan by chance? Uh, maybe. Maybe. Uh, hiya, Chuck and Posada. Come on, Nico. Good luck with opening day. Hopefully you can pull a big hit like I did in my box. We'll see. I'll always try something once. I'm not buying a whole lot of product this year. I'm just being selective, but I do like the heritage. Hint, hint. I do like the heritage this year because it's the 1972 design. 
1972 design for uh, 50 years of baseball. All right, so uh, that is really cool. I like that design, and I'll go into a little bit more on that a little bit later. Um, good luck with open. Uh, da -da. Kevin's Rockets and more collects Sean Green. Yeah, I know he does. That's amazing. Uh, me and him are going to co collaborate together. I think I might send him some more Sean Greens. <laughs> uh, IJ and Bibby Babka of all Bibsters. What's up? Let me do a refresh on the chat here, and then we're going to get ready to take the plastic off of this box here. If I can get a good cut going on here. There we go. I think I got enough there to where I can rip the plastic off now. Love the 72 heritage look too on the yeah on the on the on the her, the, the heritage. I like that set. Okay, so we are gonna get this box opened just like it was in a Hobby box. Oh my word, they're all mixed up in here. Well, you do get 36 packs, so there's 18 in a stack. So let me fold this up just like you would have it displayed in your local card shop. How's that look? But I'm going to slide it right over here out of the way. So we got an area to work with. That way, you guys can see the you know, I'll just I'll just make different stacks here for different types that we pull. Let me scooch this back just a hair. Give me a little bit of room here to work. Okay, but we'll just uh, let's see. I'm trying to think. What do we got? Quarter to eleven. Should we do the left side or the right side, or should we do the whole box? Just grip and rip. <laughs> okay, as everybody knows, I am not a speed ripper. Just so you're familiar with that. I'm not a speed ripper. Okay, I'm not a speed ripper. So, this is my first time opening too, too many of the Topps products here. Hold on, I gotta scoot something out of the way so I can stretch here. Nate Pearson, rookie card. For the Blue Jays, rookie card stack there, Clayton Kershaw with the Dodgers. They're all opening day, that's for sure. Uh, Yadier Molina with the Cardinals. Then we've got, I think, I think you probably get one insert roughly in every pack, so we should have 36 inserts, I believe. Packs with a special insert may contain only two to five cards. But Chris Sale with the Red Sox. There we go. Legends of Baseball. There we go. A Derek Jeter Hall of Famer. Derek Jeter Hall of Famer. All right. So next we got is uh, Nick Madrigal. Rookie card for the White Sox. And Al Al Aldoberto Mondesai with the Kansas City Royals. Some are actually playing with a mask. I don't think I could play with a mask. I'd need to breathe there, buddy. I'd need to breathe. I do not believe I could play with baseball with a mask on. It's rough enough going into a store. Okay. Uh, go see some cool stuff at Kevin's channel. I think he's a rocket scientist. <laughs> Is he a rocket scientist? 25 Perez through the mail. How you doing there, buddy? Thanks, sir. 25 Perez for stopping by. Hop on board his bus. If you're not, I'm pretty sure I am on your bus there. Uh, Donald, new nickname is Speed Ripper. Instead of Speed Racer, go Ghost Speed Ripper. <laughs> uh, Jacob the Grom with the Mets. Jacob the Grom with the Mets. Then we've got uh, Jose Ramirez with the Indians. We've got Ozzy Albies with the Braves. We've got 
Wow, even the New York Mets mascot's got a huge mask on. <laughs> That's our mascot insert. I'll just put all the inserts in a stack here, keep them separate. All right, that was our insert, the mascot insert. Uh, Jose Barrios with the Twins. Uh, Nick Solak, future star, second base outfielder for the Rangers. And uh, Devi Garcia with the Yankees. All right. I know what I forgot to do on the first round and stuff. Let's show you the this guy here, in case you guys like to do that. Of course, get, to get it to focus is another thing. Uh, no purchase necessary. I don't even know if there's that many people that do that these days. There might be. Let's see. Oh, i got to figure out what. Hopefully they're doing the smart thing and putting the, the ins. The, the short prints. I'll go through the cards. Thanks for reminding me about that. Look for any. Uh, have zero Nico autos though, or anything short printed. Uh, Tristan McKenzie. Wow, he looks so. He is so thin. <laughs> Must be a pitcher for the Cleveland Indians. Wow. Rookie card. Uh, Wilson Contreras with the Cubs. Oops, I missed that. Debbie Garcia. Uh, Nolan Arenado with the Rockies. Then we've got here uh, Cattell Marte with the Arizona Diamondbacks. There we go. St. Louis Cardinals opening day. Team card. Cool. See the different inserts we have at opening day. Jose Altuve with the Houston Astros. Uh, Nick Niedert opening day for the Marlins. Rookie card. And Wilson Contreras with the Cubs. Okay. I played with a mask on once, but the ump told me Halloween was over and made me remove my Casper the Ghost outfit too. <laughs> oh my, <laughs> Big Ray. Uh, Patrick Corbin with the Nationals. Buster Posey with the Giants. John Means with the Orioles. Legends of Baseball. Kirby Puckett with the Minnesota Twins. Insert card. L.O.B. L.O.B. 21. I don't know how many cards set there is in the Legends of Baseball. <laughs> there you go. That, that could tell Marte card goes in your future Hall of Fame pile. Just saying. <laughs> JT Realmuto with the Phillies. Um, Matt Chapman with the A's. And Trevor Bauer with the Reds. Yeah, there's only seven cards per pack. That's why you kind of go through the pack pretty quick. Okay. Uh, Blake Snell with the Ray Tampa Bay Rays. Uh, Craig Kimbrell still has that stance with the Cubs. Uh, Luis Garcia has second base shortstop for the Nationals rookie card. Um, Anthony Rendon with the Angels. Got another mascot. So Slugger for the Royals. Slugger for the Royals. Okay. Then we've got uh, Johan Mancata with the White Sox. And Chris Bubik. Rookie card for the Royals. Okay. Ripping down this first stack. I might have to scooch this over a little bit. 
or my box could end up falling off and making a mess of things. Is a mess of things here? <laughs> Just kidding. There we go. I think we'll be good right there. All right. What I should do is just uh, do it like that and leave the, the insert card for the end. Uh, Max Kepler with the twins. Uh, Roughnet Odor with the Rangers. And we've got Francisco Lindor with the Indians. Uh, Mike Soroka with the Braves. Uh, Juan Soto with the Nationals. And we've got uh, JT Martinez with the Red Sox. And 2021 opening day team card for the Dodgers. Awesome. I like the way they designed the team cards, all the same, similar style and an insert. Yeah, <laughs> Donald must live next to a dog. No, I have a couple neighbors that have a couple dogs. The neighbor next door now has three dogs and two cats. Tell me that's not fun in the house. <laughs> all right, next we've got... Uh, Edwin Rios, first base, third base for the Dodgers, future star. Sorry, I forgot to do my switch. Odor, Odor packs a mean punch, asked Joey Bats. Matt Olson with the A's. Zach Greinke with the Astros. Jesus Aguilar with the Miami Marlins. And we've got just Austin Hayes with the Orioles. Then we've got Joe Adele with the Angels, rookie card. And Legends of Baseball, Ricky Henderson. Ricky Henderson. Okay. Working our way down the stack here. Moving at a pretty good pace. Maybe we'll just do the whole box, get it all done one in one swoop. <laughs> uh, Christian Yelich with the Brewers. Oh, we got a blue parallel here coming up. Uh, Wally the Green Monster for the Red Sox mascot card. And we've got. Uh, Bo Burrows with the Tigers rookie card. Uh, Adrian Morejon with the San Diego Padres future star. And we've got Ian Happ with the Chicago Cubs. Boom! That's my Kyle Lewis opening day gold cup card. For the Seattle Mariners. And our last but not our rainbow foil parallel. April 1st. April Fool's Day. It was opening day this year. I thought that was pretty comical, a matter of fact. Um, rookie card for Tarek Skubal. Tarek Skubal. So let me get this one in a penny sleeve for now. Since that was our first blue parallel, I'll set that right down here. And let me get my Kyle Lewis into a top loader for my Kyle Lewis collection. I think Hap will be a bust here soon. There we go. We put him over here near my hologram down here. Kyle Lewis Gold Cup card. Awesome. Into the pack there. With, uh, I kind of call it three inserts. For me, two for sure. The blue parallel there. And 
the mascot. Okay. Yeah. Move these two to the front. Do our insert card at the back. Joey Votto with the Reds. Um, Dane Dunning with the White Sox rookie card. Then we've got uh, Brandon Crawford with the Giants. We've got Ryan Mountcastle, rookie card, gold cup card. Okay, then we've got Daniel Johnson, rookie card for the Cleveland Indians. That was the Baltimore Orioles, by the way. Forgot to say the team name. My mistake. Eduardo Rodriguez with the Boston Red Sox and Outstanding Opening Day, 1971, Billy Williams. Outstanding Opening Day. The Cubs opened their 1971 season against rival Cardinals at Wrigley Field on April 6th with Fergie Jenkins and Bob Gibson waging an intense battle. With one out and the bases empty in the bottom of the 10th inning, Williams squared up a hoot offering and hit it out to supply Chicago with a 10-1 triumph. Outstanding opening day, card number seven. Awesomeness there. Okay. Get into our next pack here. That's our insert there. Sometimes it's the sec third or fourth card from the bottom. Interesting though. Salvador Perez with the Kansas City Royals. Uh, Miguel Sano with the Minnesota Twins. Uh, Letty Taveras with the Texas Rangers rookie card. Um, Gavin Lux, future star for the Dodgers. Uh, Andres Jimenez with the Mets rookie card. Then we've got Mike Brousseau, future stars for the Tampa Bay Rays and Legends of Baseball, Roberto Clemente. Awesomeness there. Okay. Ronald Acuna Jr. Opening day uh, with uh, the Acuna's Atlanta Braves. I knew that. Huh. Uh, Trey Turner, pray for Trey, with the Washington Nationals. Uh, Mauricio Dubon with the Giants. Uh, Albert Pujols with the Angels. There we go. Blooper with the Atlanta Braves. And then we've got uh, Gliber Torres with the Yankees. And Jordan Alvarez with the Houston Astros. My first game I went to was in 1976. That was the United States. That was the U.S. of A. Bicentennial year. 200 years old. Okay. Get these ready for the next round here. Anthony Rizzo with the Cubs. Evan White with the Seattle Mariners. It's going to set my Mariners down here. Corey Seager with the Dodgers. Um... Philadelphia Phillies opening day. Next we've got here is Miguel Rojas with the Miami Marlins. Then we've got Spencer Howard 
with the Philadelphia Phillies rookie card. And Mark Kenha of the Oakland A's. Okay. Getting close to the halfway mark of the box. Colton Wong with the Cardinals. Uh, Josh Hader with the Brewers. Uh, Max Fried with the Braves. Um, Andrew Benatendi with the Red Sox. Jose Abreu with the White Sox. Uh, Aristides Aquino, Future Stars. And our last one, our insert, is a Legends of Baseball, Johnny Bench. Andrew Benatendi, of course, with the Red Sox. Legends of Baseball, Johnny Bench. Awesome there. I can't remember, did I have another Seattle Mariner in there? So far, I've got two Seattle Mariners. Can't remember if I passed by one or not. I don't think I did. Then I'll have to look for short prints later. Too hard for me to look at those little things on the back. I will double check and see if we have a short print hiding in this in these stacks here. Just do a little bit of maintenance here real quick. And we'll count up the halfway mark and see how many insert cards we got. So far, this is an insert. Kind of throw it up there for now. The blue rainbow cards. There we go. That way I don't, I can bump into the box, but I won't knock it off. All right. Charlie Blackman with the Rockies. Uh, Randy Rosarina, future star for the Rays. You Darvish with the Cubs. There we go. Slider for the Cleveland Indians. Then we've got uh, Jorge Soler with the Ro uh, Kansas City Royals. Then we've got Casey Mize with the Detroit Tigers, rookie card. And last but not least in this pack, Manny Machado with the San Diego Padres. We've got two. I think two more packs left after this one in the first half of the box. Uh, don't think it's possible to hate the Cubbies. Okay. Uh, Garrett Cole with the Yankees. Brandon Bielek. Rookie card for the Astros. Uh, Ryan Castellani with the Colorado Rockies rookie card. Um, Austin Meadows with the Tampa Bay Rays. Uh, Nico Horner, future star with the Cubbies. Mike Trout. There we go, the Mike Trout base card for the California Angels. Time to get Donald the generic the geriatric magnifier with attached light at Walgreens so he can read the small print. I only know about them from a friend, I promise. <laughs> Those dogs are barking at the umpire. Must have called the third strike on Kyle Lewis. <laughs> and there we go. Outstanding opening day. Ivan Rodriguez. Pudge Rodriguez. 2000. 
Uh, coming off his American League MVP season of 1999, Rodriguez kept the good vibes going on 2000 opening day. The Rangers catcher clubbed a three-run homer in the third inning and a two-run shot in the fifth. Ivan also drew an eight-pitch walk during his five-RBI performance to drive a 10-4 win over the White Sox. All right. All right. uh, I have trifles, so I do, do can can read stuff if I need to. Okay, move these three to the front here. Josh Bell with the Pittsburgh Pirates. Uh, Aaron Nola with the Phillies. Uh, James Caprillion with the Athletics rookie card. That was a tough one. Uh, D. Strange Gordon with the Seattle Mariners. He's no longer with the Mariners. But that counts as a Mariner card. Uh, Jock Peterson with the Dodgers. Uh, David Peterson with the Mets rookie card. And Legends of Baseball, Randy Johnson in his Diamondbacks uni. Randy Johnson and his Diamondbacks uni. Oh, we still got one more. I thought this was the last one. Still got one more on the bottom. Almost. So this is pack number 17. Okay. Sonny Gray with the Reds. Boom! There's the Lou Bob. Lou Bob opening day gold cup card. Let me get that Lou Bob penny sleeved. Let me get that Lou Bob penny sleeved and put in a top loader for my Lou Bob collection, which may come to an auction near you soon. We'll see. I'm trying to decide what to do on the Lou Bobs. If I should wait a little bit longer. All right, Carter Keyboom with the Washington Nationals. Mookie Betts with the Dodgers. Uh, Trevor Story with the Colorado Rockies. Dalton Varsho with the Arizona Diamondbacks rookie card. And Fred Bird. Fred Bird with the St. Louis Cardinals. Fred Bird, what's he in? What he must be doing some fishing. He must be doing some fishing. <laughs> Last pack in the first half. No coffee for two weeks. I need caffeine today. I think the dogs have found and are digging up Donald's 52 mantle collection he buried in the backyard. <laughs> I wish I had a 52 mantle. Uh, Tyler Glass now with the Tampa Bay Rays. Uh, Nick Heath with the Kansas City Royals rookie card. Uh, Josh Donaldson with the Twins. Danny Santana with the Rangers. John Lester with the Cubs. Justice Sheffield with the Seattle Mariners. And opening day for the Tampa Bay Rays. Okay, so we are halfway through the box so far. And it's only 11.13. I think we got plenty of time. Only took us about 15 minutes to get through the first half of the box. Uh, digging his strawberry collection. It's a budding collection. I like that. <laughs> it's a budding collection. Thanks, Bibster. Willie Adamas with the Tampa Bay Rays. Uh oh, we've got ooh, two inserts in this one. I think we got another. Opening day blue parallel. DJ LeMayhew with the Yankees. 
George Springer with the Astros. Um, Chris Bryant with the Cubs. And Alex Verdugo with the Red Sox. There we go. We've got a Blake Snell with the Tampa Bay Rays. And a Legends of Baseball Hank Aaron card. Awesome. Get this blue parallel opening day. Oh, uh, they don't even have serial numbered on the back anymore. I guess they know they're, they're short prints, so they don't have to put serial numbers on them anymore. April 1st, 2021. Okay. Continue on here. Uh, proud Pepsiholic. Okay. Do a I, I can't survive without caffeine. Pepsi, not coffee, though. Hmm. All right, let's continue on here. Uh, Steven Strasburg with the Washington Nationals. Uh, no, looks like no insert, probably because the last one had two. Uh, Justin Turner with the Dodgers. Uh, Brandon Nimmo, he's pointing up. I like that card. He's pointing up with the Mets. Oh, there we do. We do have an insert. Dinger with the Colorado Rockies. Then we've got Monty Harrison, rookie card for the Miami Marlins. Uh, Jacoby Jones with the Tigers. And Je Jesus Lazardo, future star for the Oakland A's. Okay. All right. Get in here really quick and move these cards to the front. Leave our insert on the bottom. Uh, Mike Mustakas with the Reds. Eloy Imenez with the White Sox. Bruce Star Gatterall with the Dodgers. Future Star. Uh, Kevin Biggio with the Blue Jays. Uh, Cody Bellinger with the Dodgers. Caleb Smith with the Diamondbacks. Wow, that's a lot of field on that one. Washington Nationals opening day. DC. DC. Hmm. Interesting opening day. All right. I'll just read the back of this one here. July 23rd, 2020. Washington Nationals versus the New York Yankees. Ironically, an abbreviated 2020 campaign began with an abbreviated game. As New York and Washington fought through a stormy evening at Nationals Park. The marquee pitching matchup between Garrett Cole and Max Scherzer went the way of the new Yankees at ace, who hurled the visitors a 4-1 victory in six innings. Interesting facts there. Uh, big raised ball cards and auctions. I figured out the Nico card I need the most 2020 holiday. The most is 2020 holiday SSP. Only one I need from that set. SSP. SP. Chuck, I thought we're friends. Coke is better than Pepsi. Oh, wow. Well, our friendship was good while well, it lasted. <laughs> Coke is a four letter word. <laughs> oh, dear God. Coke is absolutely horrid. One more Pepsi Holy Care. Chuck, are you sure you're saved? Repentance may be in order. I live on Coke, at least two to three cans a day. Hello, Donald. Hope you are well. I Sportsline. I am doing well. Hey, Kevin. I'll, uh, I'll, I don't drink Coke as much as I used to, but I prefer Coke over Pepsi myself. 
uh, definitely s saved. I'm saved from coke. That stuff is definitely from Satan himself. Oh my word. It's okay to have once in a blue moon. Hey, sports line at J Thompson. I have four boxes of unopened 20 update and opened so much of it. I'm sure I have been have doubles of it. What what is the p picture on front for the SSP? <laughs> Do a refresh here and get into our next pack here. We've got nine people watching, 13 thumbs up. We're doing pretty good here, I think at least. Got another Legends of Baseball coming up here. Uh, Edward Olivares for the Royals rookie card. Uh, Kenta Maeda with the Twins. Chris Paddock with the Padres. Uh, Brian Yarborough with the Rays. Future stars Alberto Alzale. And Victor Robles with the Nationals. And boom! <laughs> Legends of Baseball. Cal Ripken Jr. Cal Ripken Jr. Boom. He gets a definitely a penny sleeve for now. Alright, next pack in this deck. Okay. We've got uh, Dylan Carlson, rookie card for the Cardinals. Uh, Keston Hira with the Brewers. Uh, Christian Pache, rookie card for the Atlanta Braves. Christian Pache, rookie card. Oh, there we go. Dad's root beer, yes. Raphael Devers with the Red Sox. Then we've got Paws, Detroit Tigers mascot. Then we've got Albert Abreu, rookie card. And Jose Urquidy, future star. Suing equals during. <laughs> Su suing equals during. Uh, interesting Pepsi Coke story. Pepsi offered itself up for sale to Coke back suing the depression time and Coke turned them down. Can you imagine if someone would have seen the future? <laughs> okay, let's go with this one here like that. Jesus Sanchez, rookie card for the Marlins. Bryce Harper with the Phillies. Mike Clevenger with the Padres. Dustin May, future star for the Dodgers. Uh, David Dahl, Colorado Rockies. Uh, Lorenzo King with the Brewers and Mark McGuire, outstanding opening day, 1998. The 1998 campaign featured McGuire's initial opening day with the Cardinals, and Big Mac put a show for the crowd, sellout crowd at Bush Stadium. The bottom of the fifth inning, Mark broke open a scoreless game with a grand slam, his first of 70 homers that year. St. Louis defeated the Dodgers six to nothing. Oh yeah, you, uh, laugh out loud. Only drink Dad's root beer with ice cream. Uh, you gotta put a you gotta put a title on that ice cream. It's vanilla ice cream. Vanilla ice cream is the best with root beer. A vanilla. Ice cream root beer float. Toscano Hernandez with the Blue Jays. Uh, Kiebert Ruiz with the Dodgers rookie card. Then we've got Nick Castellanos with the Reds. Dylan Cease, future star with the White Sox. Then we've got uh, Paul Goldschmidt with the Cardinals, a goalie. Shoei Otani with the Angels and Legends of Baseball, Ted Williams. Ted Williams. A&W, yummy. A&W root beer is a good one, too. 
AMW root beer's got that frosty mug taste. AMW root beer's got vanilla is the only ice cream. Thanks, Jay. I wish people would tell my daughter that. She's like, vanilla is, it is so plain. Vanilla ice cream's the best. I don't think there's an insert in this one. Unless it's probably a probably a mascot insert. Javier Baez. Uh, with with the Cubbies, uh, Justin Dunn, future star with the Seattle Mariners. I think I'm up to five, six, six Seattle Mariners so far out of the box. Uh, Walker Bueller with the Dodgers. Um, there we go. We've got Mr. Red. That means they probably have Rosie in here too, huh? And then... Uh, Brady Singer with the Royals rookie card. Then we've got Nelson Cruz with the Twins and Corey Kluber with the Rangers. Okay. Continue on here. My favorite float is called an Irish car bomb, but that's for another channel. <laughs> oh my word. Big Ray. Is Jagger Bombs considered a float? <laughs> there we go. Do that that way. Don't know if we're going to find... We didn't find any autograph or relic card yet. wonder if there's going to be one in the box. Gary Sanchez with the Yankees. Justin Verlander with the Astros. Uh, James Karnacek with the Indians. Future Star card. Uh, Miguel Marcel Azuna with the Braves. Santiago Espinal, rookie card for the Blue Jays. Uh, Bobby Dalback, rookie card for the Red Sox. And opening day for the Oakland Athletics. Okay. Six, two, four. Two, four, six, eight, nine. Okay. Let me do one, one more round of maintenance here because the piles are getting a little unruly here. I only make one kind of list. Santa Claus usually writes it. <laughs> right. Get this bigger stack here of the commons. Except I'll have to search through later and see if I got any short print cards. Not going to do it on camera. Unless we know they put them backwards if we find one. Alright. And then we put Kyle Ripken on the bottom there for now. And two blue parallels so far. A Detroit Tiger and a Tampa Bay Ray. Okay, you get a sip of water real quick here. We're right on track. You could finish pretty close to noonish. <sighs> Sorry. got uh, all right looks like we've got another blue parallel I think we'll see we'll get to the bottom and an insert Starling Marte of the Miami Marlins uh, Alec Baum Gold Cup card rookie card for the Phillies Philadelphia Phillies um, Ahmed Rosario with the Mets uh, Brendan McKay future star card We've got Kyle Schwarberger with the Cubs. We've got Debbie Garcia, April 1st, 2021, with the New York Yankees rookie card. And Legends of Baseball, Ernie Banks. Awesome card there. Let me get a penny sleeve for the rookie card here. 
blue parallel. So I'm guessing we'll probably get four blue parallels in this box. Don't think I'm going to rush right out and try and collect this one. <laughs> All right. Here, I'm going to take these out real quick just so you guys can see them better here. Seven packs to go. Put the box out of the way for now so I don't knock anything over here. That way you can see as the pack, as the stack dwindles down. Fourteen thumbs up. Many people watching. All right, we got Max Muncy with the Dodgers. Uh, Cody Whitley with the Cardinals. Uh, rookie card. We got Zach Gallon, future star for the Arizona Diamondbacks. We've got the Oakland A's mascot. I guess his name is Mascot. Then we've got uh, Marcus Simeon with the Athletics. Rasiel Iglesias with the Reds. And Tim Anderson with the White Sox. Okay. Five, six packs left after this one. One insert in this one. On the bottom now. Uh, Jacob Junis with the Royals. Isaac Paredes, Par, pa, Paredes rookie card for the Tigers. Uh, Ryan Braun with the Brewers. Um, Ian Anderson with the Braves. Uh, Bo Bichette, future star card. Uh, and Ralton Simmons with the Angels. And, oh, outstanding opening day. Clayton Kershaw, 2013. It says opening the 2013 season against the rival Giants on April 1st. Kershaw took the first step toward his second National League Cy Young Award. The Dodgers Southpaw needed only 94 pitches to twirl a four-hit shutout leading his team to a 4-0 victory. Clayton struck out seven and walked none while facing just 30 batters. Wow, 30 batters. That was just three batters over the minimum. O for Younger Tongues, Dwayne The Rock Johnson in the remake of Walking Tall. <laughs> oh my word. They got him in the remaking of Walking Tall. All right, five packs to go after this one. As we wind down, still no relic evidence here. Kyle Seeger with the Seattle Mariners. All right, Tony Gonsolin, opening day Gold Cup card for the Dodgers. Okay, move these to the front real quick. Insert on the bottom. Uh, Joey Gallo with the Rangers. Uh, Guy Giancarlo Stanton with the Yankees. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. with the Blue Jays. We've got uh, Xander Bogarts with the Red Sox. And Legends of Baseball, Babe Ruth. Awesome there. Four packs to go after this one. Only saw the remake. Didn't know there was an older version. I'll have to look into that. <laughs> uh, Mitch White, rookie card for the Dodgers. Uh, Pete Alonzo with the Mets. Uh, Shane Bieber. Uh, Shane Bieber with the Indians. There we go. Opening day, Mr. Met for the Mets. Uh, Alex Bregman with the Astros. Eloy, or no, it, Eloy. 
Eddie Alvarez with the Miami Marlins rookie card. And Nico Goodrum with the Detroit Tigers. Let's do some minor straightening up here. All right. Three more packs to go after this one. Getting toward the end of the box. We got Trent Grisham, future star for the Padres. We got Luis Castellano with the Reds. Joey Bart with the Giants, rookie card. Uh, Jack Flaherty with the Cardinals. Brandon Woodruff with the Brewers. And we've got Justin Upton with the Angels. And opening day, Houston Astros. All right, two packs to go after this one. Bands B. Swanson with the Braves. Put that on the bottom there. Uh, Cody Hewer with the White Sox rookie card. Uh, Whit Merrifield with the Royals. Byron Buxton with the Twins, Nate Pearson with the Blue Jays, Clayton Kershaw with the Dodgers, and Legends of Baseball, Harmon Killebrew. All right, one pack left after this one. That could be the last pack magic. Trying to pull that auto or... See what we got in here. Anything? You don't see anything special in this pack. Freddie Freeman with the Braves. Uh, Max Scherzer with the Nationals. Uh, Chadwick Trump, rookie card for the Giants. All right. Then we've got uh, Humberto Mejia, rookie card for the D-backs. Raymond for the Tampa Bay Rays mascot. And we've got Anderson Tejeda, rookie card for the Rangers. And our last card is Brett Gardner with the Yankees. Last pack magic. I don't know. Thummies up for Donald. There we go, 12 people watching, 14 thumbs up. Don't know if we'll make it to 20 today or not. Let's see, what do we got in here? We got a black border. I don't know if we've, oh, that might be uh, Carlos Correa with the Houston Astros. Sixto Sanchez with the Miami Marlins rookie card. Uh, Rice or Reese Hoskins with the Phillies. Yadier Molina with the Cardinals. Tristan McKenzie with the Cleveland Indians. We had one of him earlier. Rookie card. Uh, Wilson Contreras with the Cubs. Yeah, I think it's a team, a team card. And 2021 opening day for the Chicago Cubs. All right, we'll go through and highlight through the inserts and stuff we got here. This is just our stack of rookie cards here. Stack of rookie cards. Put those off on the, the right-hand side of the box here. Okay. These are all the base cards. I will go through off camera and see if I did get any short prints. If I do, I'll show you guys tomorrow.
if we did get end up getting a short print, it doesn't look like we did unless they don't put them in backwards, which is fine. All right, so put those in there. All right, we did get the, the th only three blue parallels. So three blue parallels out of the box. We got Debbie Garcia, rookie card. Blake Snell with the Rays. And uh, Tarek Skubal with the Detroit Tigers. So two rookies and a Blake Snell. Okay. And we did get the, the Lou Bob. The Lou Bob for uh, opening day Gold Cup card. I did get some Seattle Mariners here. Kyle Lewis, Justin Dunn, Justice Sheffield, D Strange Gordon, and Evan White. Okay, and we did get the Kyle Lewis. So we got the Lewis Robert and the Kyle Lewis Gold Cup cards for my collection there. And then last but not least is the inserts here. Let's go ahead and sort through these and see what different types we've got here. So we did get the the Legends of Baseball. Got the opening days. We got mascots galore, I think. Legends of Baseball. Harmon Killebrew. Cal Ripken. Opening day Astros. Team card. Mr. Matt. Legends of Baseball. Babe Ruth. Outstanding opening day Clayton Kershaw. Mascot, Legends of Baseball, Ernie Banks, Opening Day Athletics, Mr. Red, Legends of Baseball, Ted Williams, Mark McGuire, Outstanding Opening Day, uh, Pause for the Detroit Tigers, Opening Day for the Washington Nationals, uh, Dinger, Mascots, Legends of Baseball, Hank Aaron, Tampa Bay Rays, Opening Day, uh, uh, Fred Bird with the Cardinals, Legends of Baseball, Randy Johnson, uh, Outstanding Opening Day, Ivan Pudge Rodriguez, um, Opening Day, Slider for the Indians, Legends of Baseball, Johnny Bench, uh, Philadelphia Phillies opening day. Uh, blooper with the Braves. Legends of Baseball, Roberto Clemente. Uh, outstanding opening day, Billy Williams, 1971. Wally the Green Monster for the Red Sox mascot. Legends of Baseball, Ricky Henderson. Los Angeles Dodgers opening day. Uh, Slugger with the Royals. Legends of Baseball, Kirby Puckett. Uh, St. Louis Cardinals opening day. And another Mr. Met here. And Legends of Baseball, Derek Jeter. So, not too bad for the inserts. Looks like, I'd say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So about 1 and 3 pack probably for the Legends of Baseball. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 1 and 3 for the mascot. Then we got uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Probably about 1 and 4 on that one. 1, 2, 3, 4. So there we have it. There's our inserts. Opening day. Outstanding opening day. Our mascot cards. And our legends of baseball. Breaking news. PSA is now going to be grading cards via artificial intelligence software. They will be able to tell if a card is trimmed or resubmitted. And will be judged on 70 different areas. My, my, my. Next time, next, t next, think you know, they'll be talking about electronic umpires. Wait, 
oh man. <laughs> oh, I think they already do that. They, they've tested the electronic umpires, that's for sure. Pretty soon they'll have electronic baseball players. They'll just be robots. So they can program them what they want them to do. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's me thinking outside the box. Did I just say that out loud? So let me put these in the box here and I will sort all this later on. Outstanding opening day. That one. Those, the mascots there. Then we need put the Legends of Baseballs in here. That way this is kind of pre-sorted for me in a way. Scooch that over so it don't fall off. Oh my word. Oh, sorry. I just hit the camera, didn't I? Had to adjust something there. I got in the way. All right. Everybody knows what time it is. We're going to do four. All right, we got 13 people watching. We got six thumbs up. Let's see if we can get a, a lot of participation here. PSA 10s are going to be extremely hard to get from this point on. Beckett and HGA are good alternatives. All right, let me refresh my chat really quick. Okay, I refreshed my chat. And I will do it real quick, hopefully, before you guys start putting in your entries for the next part here. So let me get this here for our card. Let me get this here for our wheel of names on the Bipster wheel. Make sure it loads up really quick here, and we'll get on to part three of today's stream. Which is, of course, the Bipster box. Okay, I'll let you, oh, let me make sure my sound is on. You might start hearing some alert noises, but... All right, so we are going to do the Bipster wheel. For most people that have been around the channel recently, I told you to wait. No, no, you can't combine the, the, the Hall of Famers for the win. Two, two separate entries there, Bipster. Okay. El Toro 66. Hello, Donald. How you doing there, El Toro 66? Thanks for popping into the stream. You got 12 people watching, 17 thumbs up. Big Ray, but man, if you get a 10, holy cow, crazy value. All right, so people are starting to do their guesses. That's fine. But guess the four numbers for the four packs we're going to choose out. Four different numbers between 1 and 52. 1 and 52. Most people are already putting in their choices. You can choose if somebody else already chose it. They don't have to be completely different numbers. Because we're going to choose four random packs out of here. Each person gets one guess. And if your number comes up, for a pack be drawn, you get a free entry into... <laughs> Don't combine the second part of the drawing yet. I'm not even going to look at your second... There, It's too much for me to... You're overwhelming me. <laughs> you're confusing me so much. Let's just do the four numbers for the four packs. And we do have a bunch of people that have already guessed. Okay. But we're going to get ready here. I'm going to... This is what I'm going to do first here is I'm going to shuffle up the wheel. You can see on the wheel here that we do have 52 names. Okay, you'll see the wheel where it starts out with number one here, goes all the way around to 52. Because there's 52 packs in the box. That's okay. <laughs> no, you got to choose one more left behind. We're doing four packs. We're doing four packs. <laughs> left behind with a with three numbers. You got to choose one more there left behind. One more. <laughs> oh my word. Let me get left behind's entries in here as we go. We're having fun with this now. We're getting more people showing up on a daily basis. But it's fun. It's fun. Let me get uh, left behind times two entries in here. Oh, 
I know he's in here somewhere. Where's left behind hiding? There he is. We get two entries for left behind times. Copy. Um, paste. All right, I've got your two entries in there left behind, but you do need to choose. Okay, remind me if I miss your 17 there because it's on a separate list. Okay. And 17. Got it. <laughs> That's okay. I'll look through all the all the guesses here in just a minute here. So we have 345 entries into the Wheel of Names. But we'll see if we can add some more names here soon. Okay. So it is 11.50. I'm going to close off. I'm going to refresh my chat, and that's where we will go with entries for today's stream. Left behind times. Okay. Is that yeah, 25, 25, 45, and 17? All right. So when my clock says 11.51, I'm going to get ready to spin the wheel. Actually, let me do this really quick. I'm going to randomize it seven times. One, two, three, four five, six, seven. All right, now we've got the wheel in here seven times, or spun seven times. Okay, I'm going to refresh my chat, and we're going to see who gets some entries into the Wheel of Names. Okay, I've refreshed my chat, so let's go for the four packs we're going to choose out. And then we will do the Stars and Hall of Fames second, okay? All right, so let's start drawing the four packs. Round one. <laughs> Call and request Latin music. All right, pack number eight is first. Pack number eight is first. Let's spin again. Number 22 is the second pack. 22. Socializing with Sonia. She's putting on some music there. And our third pack is number 36 hey we're going right up in the row we got 8 22 36 sorry that's a six <laughs> that's a sloppy six see if i can make make it look more six ish it's a spooky six and pack number four why you got one number in there, Big Ray? You can't use, you can't use, that, that 22 don't count. Sorry. We're already late. Did you only choose three up above? And 25 is our last number. So now I gotta scroll back up through the chat since you guys were keeping me busy here and see who the first one is here. So let's see. Go back here. It looks like Bibster said four, three, one, and two. That one didn't win. Uh, 11, 7, 22, and 24. So Big Ray got one at 22. 22. So let me put Big Ray down for one. Don't worry, I can read my writing. 
All right, 22 for Big Ray. Dave Thompson's got 3, 12, 23, and 46. Nope. Uh, Chuck got 5, 9, 27, and 29. Nope. Robert got 25, 42, 19, and 7. Just missed it on one of them there. It's Mr. Fab has 21. 39, 48, and 51. Cards in my car has 5, 14, 26, and 33. Nope. El Toro says 9, 1, 3, and 15. Nope. Left Behind said 5, 25. Left Behind got 25. And 45, nope. Uh, I know he's got a revision down here somewhere. 8, 23, 33, and 44. I like that. Kevin went up 11 each, almost. 20, 8, 23, 33, and 44. Donald is old, I forgot, sorry. <laughs> and 17, nope. Okay, so Left Behind got one, Big Ray got one. One, two, four, three, left behind, 17. Okay. 25, 25, 45, 17. And that was it. Okay. So, Big Ray got an entry and left behind got an entry. So let's go to Big Ray's ball cards and auctions. You get a free entry. Okay, paste that in there, and then left behind times, got a free entry, oops, oops, hold on, one. All right, there we go. We have 347 entries now. Adding those two and two new entries in. So that will be our packs we're going to choose. Okay, don't jump the gun anybody. Don't put in Oh, Kevin had eight. Oh, did Kevin get one right? I'm sorry. Hold on. Let me go back a second here. Well, let me save that first. Did Kevin guess an eight? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Stop the show. Where's Kevin up here? Probably did. Did I read through? Kevin, 823. That's right, pack number eight. Kevin gets an entry too. <laughs> That's why I need more eyes. That's why I got a, a blue wrench crew in here. <laughs> the ones I can trust. <laughs> Sorry, Kevin. Let me get Kevin's name on here really quick. Oh, wow. Actually, let me cut, copy and paste here. Because, uh, yeah, you're, you're already late. Well, you're not late for the end there, Quarantine Dragon Fan Tim. You can still make it for one more entry section here. Let me get Kevin's Models and More. Kevin's Models and More. Get your name on the Wheel of Names for your correct guess. So three people guessed packs right today. Okay. All right, that gives us 348 entries into the Wheel of Names. 348 entries into the Wheel of Names. Okay, so now put this away, turn that off so we don't get any notification bells. Okay, so I've got the three entries in there now. Let me put this off to the side. We're going to uncork the Bipster box here. Open up the Bipster. And we're going to pull out 
the pack. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then 22, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22. And then 36, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. And 25. Okay. Now the arduous task of pulling these out. packs to refill out of the out of the nursery here. Okay, so get these on standby here as I pull out uh, pack number eight will be first. Pack number eight will be first. Twenty two is second. Uh, Thirty six is fourth. Our third and 25 is fourth. There we go. So now we can fill in the vacancies here. One, two, three, and four. <laughs> hold, hold on to this a second there, Big Ray. Okay. So we're going to do 25 last. One, two, three, four. So there's our packs. We're going to get ready. I have a commercial break here. Let me put the, the, the babies in the nursery back to sleep. Put the babies in the nursery back to sleep. We'll see you guys tomorrow, okay? Well, you'll get your turn soon, okay? Got to have some fun with those Got to keep them nice so they don't start crying on us. Okay. Yep, you got number eight. Arduous difficulty. A lot of people had 25 left behind. What do you mean a lot of people had 25? Robert and Sonia? Really? Did I miss some more? Let me go back in this chat here. Did I miss some more entries? My word, hold on. Stop the show. I already did the bell ringer, but I gotta get your entries into the wheel. Oh yeah, left behind at 25. Yeah, I got his 25, okay. Oh my word, hold on, hold on, stop the show. I'm, I'm, I'm check. Oh, Robert Hone did have 25. Okay, Robert had 25. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me go up more. Did Sonya have 25 too? Let's see, so Robert gets an entry. Um, Robert had a 25. Big Ray retracted something. Um, actually, let me go back here because I didn't refresh it yet, right? Oh, man. You guys got to keep me honest. I don't want to jip anybody. Let's see. I'm, and it has to be before I did that refresh when I started spinning the wheels. So let me go back real quick. Let's see, did I miss some 25s? So Robert gets, a, gets an entry. Okay. Just the numbers. Oh, Sonia had 25. Who deleted her 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 
Who deleted Sonya? Okay, so Sonya gets one. Robert gets one. Got left behind. No, you don't have to delete that. Why'd you delete her music? That was fun. I always have fun when the music plays. Okay. Socializing with Sonya. Why, why did you hide socializing with Sonya there, uh, uh, Robert? She wasn't doing anything wrong that I can see. Did I miss something? I don't think Sonya did anything wrong. Uh, hold on. i got to go back and check and make sure she's not still hidden. Why are you hiding socializing with Sonya? Okay, hold on. Now I'm confused. I don't know why Robert did that. There's nothing wrong with the music being up there. There's the music. I open that up. Why did Robert hide socializing with Sonya? She's one of my new super supporters. I don't know why that was done. Okay, socializing with Sonya was unhidden by Chuck Dupree. Thank you, Chuck. Appreciate that. Bipster, what? Why is, why is Robert doing a thumbs down now? Oh, accident by me. Sorry. Okay, okay. Kevin's got the eight. I picked eight, got that. <clears throat> okay, hold on. I'm... I'm Okay, yeah, I, I did the same thing, too. Okay, no, I did it by mistake. Okay, he said it was by accident. Yeah. Socializing with Sonya, are you, are you still here? Are you still here? I don't know why Robert did. He, he did it by accident. He apologizes. Hopefully you're still here. And Robert, when you see her again, would you please apologize for that mistake? But let me get Chuck, let me get Robert, let me get Robert in and socializing with Sonya for your entries into the Wheel of Names. And then we will get into the Super Chat for $2 by Big Ray. I think it was Big Ray. There we go. I got Robert Hone in here. Let me get socializing with Sonya. Okay. Socializing with Sonya. Okay. And then, uh, who was the big chat? The super chat again? Super chat was Big Ray's $2 super chat. Let me ring the bell again. <laughs> Sorry about uh, There we go. Socializing with Sonya is back. There we go. Yeah, she supports a lot of us on the channel, so we, we need to take care of her. Robert, go to the principal's office. <laughs> All right. I got socializing with uh, Now I got to get oh, two more entries for Big Ray. Two more entries for Big Ray. Okay. And because of what Robert did to you socializing with Sonya, I gave you a bonus entry too. Okay. So now we have um, 353 names in the Wheel of Names. 353 names in the Wheel of Names. So we still got 14 people watching. 17 thumbs up. It's not a problem. We're all good. Okay. That's okay. Sonia, please forgive me. I have no excuse to give. <laughs> that sounds like something Robert would say. <laughs> okay. We're going on now to part two. Part two of our stream here. Let me get back down here real quick. Get my chat caught up. All right. So now we got to do our second part. 
Okay? Okay. Stop the show. Stop the show. No more chatting for just a moment. No more chatting for just a moment. Okay? Because I don't want confusing things in the chat when, we, when, when, when it's refreshed here now. Okay, Robert, delete mine too. I want an extra entry. Robert didn't delete you, Kevin. <laughs> I saw yours. <laughs> Later. I did. I did. Okay. <laughs> Donald can... <laughs> and I have an entry. An entry. Robert looked at me funny. He's, all, he's always looking at you funny, Bipster. Okay, I said stop the show. No more chatting. Okay, now I need you guys to either type in star, S-T-A-R, or H-O-F. This is our last chance for today's stream to get free entries. Dogs barking at planes. <laughs> Dogs barking at planes. Okay, so last time I'm going to refresh. So I need you to type in either star or H-O-F in case you're wondering what's going on. We're going to go through these packs of cards and see how many we get that are either Hall of Fame or Star Players. Hall of Fame or Star Players. So that's our last part here. So you can either put star emojis in there or HOF for Hall of Fame, but one entry per person. One entry per person. Okay? I know there's a bunch of people watching today, so I'm going to get a bunch of entries, and that's fine. So, uh, <laughs> left behind times want to make sure that I know that <laughs> uh, he's got his reservation in for stars today. All right, left behind, I'm going to get your two entries in here. <laughs> he wanted to make sure I didn't miss them this time. <laughs> Okay, so the Wheel of Names here is going to get two more entries. All right. <laughs> oh, no, no. Uh, just so you know, they're socializing with Sonya. We... We tease each other a lot in the channel. It's all in good fun and stuff. I know he didn't mean it, and I figured he'd own up to it, saying he he had uh, did it in error. <laughs> Sorry, I already had this long comment started. Oh, that's that's okay. That's okay. No, we do have fun in the channel, and that's the purpose of doing these live streams. It's fun. It's fun. We have fun in the channel. So we've got left behinds two entries. There are now 355 entries into the Wheel of Names for the month of April giveaway. You broke no rules, Sonya. It was just a mistake. There we go. All right, so back into the live stream. Okay, so it is 12-12, and I'm going to do a refresh here. So no more entries. No more entries for... H-O-F or star players, okay? H-O-F or star players. Let me put our counter down here. I'm going to move these over here for now. All right, you can see my little board down here. For We're going to open pack number 8, and then 22, and 36, and 25, and see if we get more stars or Hall of Famers to see who else gets entries. As long as you have one guess. One guess per person. Entries are officially closed. Are we going to uh, open the opening day box next? Dipster, we already did the opening day box. Where you been? Did you fall asleep on us? <laughs> Alright, let's get into pack number eight here before I, I, I put Bipster on a timeout. Don't do that, anybody. I'm just teasing them. All right, so let me get my... Oh, hold on, let me turn this off. It didn't close on me. Put that aside there. Get my cheat sheet ready here. Not my cheat sheet, but you guys know what I mean. I need my Hall of Fame help, help page here. 
Oh wow, it actually stood up without a bend. That's that's the perfect spot for that. I'll have to remember. All right, we got Max Carey. Max Carey is a Hall of Famer. Did the Bipster fall asleep? I think he must have. Hack Wilson. Hack Wilson's uh, Hall of Famer. John McGraw. John McGraw, Hall of Famer. Sam Crawford. Sam Crawford, Hall of Famer. Max Scherzer. Oh, he's a newer guy. He's still playing. Max Scherzer. Luis Severino. Dom DiMaggio. Leo DeRocher. DeRocher? Hall of Famer. Uh, Matt Holliday. Matt Holliday? Uh, who's this? Russell Martin. Matt Holliday. Warren Spann. Hall of Famer. <clears throat> Along with Sparky Anderson. Sparky Anderson. Uh, Doak Walker. Doak Walker? Star player. Bob Gibson, Hall of Famer. George Spanky McFarland. McFarland, star player. He's a star player already. That's that's Spanky from <laughs> Oh my word. Bebster, why'd you do this? That's Spanky from <laughs> This is supposed to be part of people, places, and thing. People, places, and animals. <laughs> That's Spanky from our gang. How did he get in here, Bipster? Scherzer was a diamondback. Double star points for him. And why is, why is Doak Walker in here? He's a football player. Bipster, you're, 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 you're getting sneaky on me here now. You got a football player in here. And you got a Spanky from our gang. The Little Rascals. Next thing you know, we'll find a, a movie star in here. Oh, my word. Hack Wilson. <laughs> Hall of Famer, Sam McDowell. Sam McDowell. Star player. Gil Hodges. <laughs> oh, my word, Bipster. What am I going to do with you? Um, Rollins. Rollins. Jimmy Rollins with the Phillies, and Nolan Arenado. All right. In lieu of these these star players here, I guess that's the only thing we can call them going with the rules of the packs here. Bibster. Oh, he's a Hall of Famer football player, is he? Is he a Hall? Well, we'll have to set him over here with the Hall of Famers then. But I don't know about Spanky. I don't think Spanky's a Hall of Famer, that's for sure. Spanky's not a Hall of Famer. Let me see. What's it say here? Spanky, an early 1900 slang term for smart, witty child, was a fitting name for McFarland, whose background modeling as a toddler made him incredibly comfortable in front of the camera. By the time his R Gang role began delighting audiences in 1931, a supporting character at first, he was so popular he quickly became the star of the group and remained part of the serial for 11 years. <laughs> oh my word, Bipster. You cease to amaze me. Doke. Doke is a Hall of Famer. Yeah, I'll put him in with the Hall of Famer group there for now. i got to separate him. I can't put him in with my baseball card sort, though. Oh, Bipster, Bipster, Bipster. Carl Ferrillo. 
Carl Ferrillo. Guess he'll be a star player here. Got Kirby Puckett. Kirby Puckett. Hall of Famer. Bob Gibson. Is this is 2019. I'm still working on that 2019 Topps Gallery set. Dustin Pedroia. Gonna have to set that aside here, down here, for star players. But I gotta put that in my 2019. Greg Maddox. Greg Maddox. Hall of Famer. Joe Morgan, Hall of Famer. Right? Isn't Morgan a Hall of Famer? Yep. Uh, John Schmoltzy. Cal Ripken Jr. <laughs> How'd that cow get in here? Cal Ripken Jr. My word. I gotta put that in my Cal Ripken Jr. collection. Roy Halliday. Roy Halliday is a Hall of Famer. A Fairfield Wednesday for Roy Halliday. Roy Halliday. Uh oh. Roy Halliday. Roy Halliday. Roy Halliday. Uh oh. He's on a a Roy Halliday junket here. Top's finest Roy Halliday. Roy Halliday. Roy Halliday. We found a Roy Halliday. Oh, there's a Jose Canseco. He's star. Jose Canseco star. Uh Jose Canseco. Uh oh star. Jose Canseco Canseco. Bartola Colon, future Hall of Famer. That's for sure. Boom. All right, moving on to pack number 36. <laughs> no, socializing with Sonia. She, uh, she, she needs a blue wrench. She's got to keep an eye on Robert sometimes. <laughs> Dave Winfield, Hall of Famer. Uh, Robin Ventura, star player, Robin Ventura, Robin Ventura, Bartola Colon, Lou Whitaker, Lou Whitaker, Dwight Gooden, Gooden's not, right? Oh, star player for Dwight Gooden. Uh-oh, we're evening off the packs. There's a bunch of Dwight Goodens. Ryan Sandberg. Sandberg. Burt Bylevin, Hall of Famer. Carlos Martinez. Carlos Martinez is not just Pedro and Edgar. Tom Needenfuro with the Mariners. Throwing in some Mariners in the mix here. Tom Needenfuhrer. I guess we'll have to call Spanky as a star anyway, because he was a star in the show. <laughs> Robin Roberts. Robin Roberts. Hall of Famer. Phil Necro. Hall of Famer. Warren Spann, Hall of Famer. And Juan Marco. Oh boy, I don't know. It's close. It's running neck and neck. We've got these two cards here. goes to the Hall of Famers. These cards down here go to the Star Stack. Wow. It's pretty close. Going down to the final pack here. Uh, what's it say? What am I missing here? All Hall of Famers are stars, but not the other way around. So technically they're all stars. Boom. I win. Game over. <laughs> all right, Kevin. <laughs> Kevin's models. Give Robert Roberts to her. Only fitting. Like passing down Excalibur. Uh, Kevin's models and more. Left behind times. Just wanted to you to know your last video 
was an inspiration for my sermon I preached on Sunday. I need to make some edits on the audio, but I hope it upload to upload it soon. Spanky is on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. He should go to the Hall of Famers. <laughs> All right, let's get into pack number 25 to end the stream here. I thought I was going to be fit. <laughs> It's always good to have fun in the channel, trust me. I'll, I'll leave it at that. It's always fun to have fun in the channel. Jim Palmer. Jim Palmer. Hall of Famer. Herman Killebrew. Hall of Famer, right? Killebrew is. And Lou Brock. Lou Brock, Hall of Famer. Lou Brock Double. Kevin Mitchell. Mitchell, star player, Luke Appling, Hall of Famer, Frank Crosetti, Crosetti, star player, Eddie Matthews, pretty sure Matthews is a Hall of Famer. Eddie Matthews, Hall of Famer. Uh, Domingo Ramos. Domingo Ramos. Seattle Mariner. Seattle Mariner. Seattle Mariner. Rafael Soriano, Seattle Mariner. Uh, a rookie card for who? Rafael Soriano. Rookie card. Another star rookie. My word. Lance Johnson with the White Sox. Johnson. He's got to be a star player. Lance Johnson. Herb Pennock. Herb Pennock. Star player. And Max Scherzer. Or Hall of Famer. And Max Scherzer. Star player. This one's going to be close, that's for sure. Let me put that one on top there and that one on top there. Put the gallery down here. Put the Mariners over here and put Spanky over here. My, oh my. This is going to be a close dinger. This is going to be a close dinger. I'm going to hold these up just so you guys can see. Gonna hold these two stacks up just so you can see how close it's gonna be. These stacks look pretty pretty close. Even if I put them side by side, this will give you a better judge. Who knows? We might have a tie and everybody will have to be a winner. My, oh my, look how, look how close that is. I might just have to give everybody that made a guess a winner in this one. We'll have to see. So let's see, I got stars on the top here. So let's go with the stars first and count up the stars here. And then we'll do the Hall of Fame. I see a hanging Chad recount coming. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's see what we got here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five. 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43. So we got 43 stars. 43 stars. Now let's count up the Hall of Famers. Participation trophies. Oh my word. Everyone wins. It might be. I haven't had a tie yet, but you never know. We've had a few close calls. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 39, 40, 41, 42. My word. <laughs> 42. We need to go through and count one more time just to make sure. Do you think it's close enough for a recount? Cardinals fan 1990 says, Welcome to the single again. Well, it looks like Cardinals fan decided to hop on board being a single again. We'll see how long that one lasts. <laughs> okay. By one card, let's go. Protest, let's riot. Who's with me? <laughs> Told you, hanging Chad. <laughs> if you listen to Donald's dog, I hear them saying, star, 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 star. Sounds nothing like Hall of Fame, 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 Hall of Fame. <laughs> oh my word. <laughs> uh, hi Donald, back member. Thanks there Cardinals fan 1990, appreciate that. All right, so I'm going to put this here for now. We're going to do a recount. So you can see I'm not taking anything off the stacks. Let's count one more time just to make sure. First time I have it, I've had it within one card. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43. And there you go, Spanky stirring, stirring up troubles as usual. Yeah, I mean, he's not really a sports card, so maybe if we took him off, it's a 42-42 tie. We'll blame it on Bipster for putting Spanky in there. All right, so it is 43 for the stars. Let's double count the... Let's double count the Hall of Famers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11... 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 39, 40, 41, 42. You little rascal, Kevin. <laughs> You Hall of Famers just got spanked. Well, you know, you know what I got to do now, right? Now I got to go back and see who got their entries. No, we're not doing a third recount. I know you really wanted it really, really bad there, Webster. But just think, it could have been a tie if Spanky wasn't in the pack. Let's take this to court. Okay. I'll wait. Where's the judge? Here come the judge. Here come the judge. Where's the judge? Where's the judge? <laughs> That's right, El Toro. Okay. <clears throat> let me go <clears throat> let me go back up here where I did the refresh here. I know there's a lot of chatting taking place here. There's the refresh. So let me go up to where people started guessing.
Okay, yeah. It's going to be right after the extra entries for the 25s I missed. Okay, so let's see. Where's the first one? Okay, Chuck Dupree said Hall of Famers. He's a loser. Sorry. Sorry, Chuck. Didn't mean it to sound bad. Uh, Big Rays got star. Okay, let me make my list. Uh, Big Ray. This way I'll find out if there's any duplicate cheaters in here. <laughs> Big Ray gets an entry. Uh, Bipster said Hall of Fame. Cards in my car said stars. Cards in car. Just write it that way for now. All right. And then who do we got next? El Toro 66. El Toro 66. I'm going to. That's not a usual one that I do, so I'm going to copy that one. Kevin said star. So far we got four entries. Uh, Robert said star. Jay Thompson said star. Jay Thompson. Okay. Uh, left behind said star. All right. And then uh, Mr. Fab said. Hall of Fames. So he doesn't. So, socializing with Sonia said Hall of Famers. El Toro. El Toro, you guessed twice. You only get one entry though, okay? Just so you know. You don't get more than, remember, one entry per person. Um, and boom, that's it. So it looks like you tell me if I missed anybody, I'm going to give an entry to Big Ray. Cards in your car, El Toro 66, Kevin's Models and More, Robert Ohm, Jay Thompson, and Left Behind Times. So two, four, six, seven people get free entries. Do I got that correct? Uh, been timed out by a toddler playing with a phone and by ex-wife for teasing her, so why not? <laughs> okay, no problem there, Al Toro. Maybe you didn't remember you had typed it in once already. But let me get the entries in real quick. We'll do go over a re recap here. Let me get uh, El Toro in here, since I already copy and pasted his, because that's an oddball one. Uh, Big Ray. And cards in my car with our Posada. So you get cards in my car with our Posada. Uh, Big Ray. Okay. Next is Kevin's Models and More. Copy, paste. Okay. Uh, Robert Hone. Get his entry in here. Jay Thompson. There's Jay. 
Get Jake Thompson another entry in here. Behind times with another entry. All right. Oops. Yeah. Got it. Okay. So let me go to. So we now have 362 entries into the Wheel of Names. So I just put in um, El Toro, Cards in My Car with Ar Posada, Big Ray's Ball Cards and Auctions, Kevin's Models and More, Robert Home, Jay Thompson, and Let Behind Times. Okay, so that uh, that's going to call it a wrap for today for the Bipster Box and all the funness in the channel for today. Boom, another $1.99 Super Chat for Left Behind Time says this card Unity rocks with a Bible with a cross on it emoji with a baseball and with the sunshades. Let me get your other two entries in here. There, Left Behind. Appreciate that. Two more entries for that dollar ninety nine super chat. Appreciate that, Blake, very very much. Okay, we now have three hundred and sixty four entries. Let me get back in here, refresh my live chat. Um, you'd be surprised, Jay. Laugh out loud. He has a few. <laughs> The Bipster of All Things Wax Pack, El Toro, I noticed too. Who, why, Dearman has full authority. <laughs> John Fishman's in the house. John Fishman. Bipster's trying to get a hold of you there, buddy. He's got something that he's been wanting to send you, but we need your new address. He sent it out to your P.O. box you gave me before, and it went back to him. Did you close your P.O. box already? Just in case you're wondering if you're still here there, John Fishman. Uh, the, bye, everyone. All right, there. Take take care there, Bipster. All right. Uh, and he had enough. <laughs> Laugh out loud. I chew Dearman out all the time. He generally listens to me for some reason. Sad thing was, it was a question and answer session. Oh my word, Dearman. Sometimes I wonder how he's doing lately. I haven't seen him around the channels too much. Mess with the deer and you get the antlers, yes. Okay there, uh, John Fishman, no spamming Big Ray. <laughs> That's right, Dearman doesn't like when people spam. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get ready to sign off for today. It was fun. Again, we went through this opening day box. That was fun. And we went through the Bipster. We went through the 1980 baseball card, uh, Superstars photo card set review. And we had fun today for sure. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get ready to sign off. This has been Donald Blondahl. Hall of Fame Veterans Sports Cards and Collectibles having been to you with another episode of Set Reviews reviewing the 1980 Topps Baseball Superstars Photo Card Set Review plus a 2021 Topps Opening Day Box and the Bipster Box Three packs were requested but Bipster said can we do four so we did and did we have fun with it all right, so take care, Lord bless you, and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Uh, take care of socializing with Sonia and Chuck, Dupree Sports Cards, uh, Kevin's Models and More, Big Ray's Ball Cards and Auctions, Jay Thompson, Robert Hone, Chuck Dupree Sports Cards, John Fishman again, Left Behind Times, goodbye fam, you all take care. Donald, tell Bibby to send card to some kid. I am actually reducing possessions, becoming minimalist. Okay, 
I will pass that on with him there, John. He was almost going to send it to me, and I said, no, just send it since you showed back up on the channels. But I will, I will mention that to him, okay? I'll mention that to him, and I'll let him do what he wants to with that. Um, happy blessed day, yes. You all take care, and as the Bipster says in all his videos when he ends, be blessed. Bye for now and take care. See you tomorrow morning, same bat time, same bat channel, for Throwback Thursdays.